Tonight, we take you inside the deal and what it took to get here. WFMY News 2's Grace Holland heard from business leaders, experts, and others. Economic development leaders got started on this project in June, not knowing at first Toyota, a company that's shown interest in the triad before, was on the other side of the deal. The triad giving Toyota a warm welcome as it announces it will build at the Greensboro Randolph Megasite. We will see the benefits of today for decades to come. 1,800 acres will become home to the automaker's first battery manufacturing plant for electric vehicles in North America. It's not the first time Toyota has eyed the mega site. They knew the people, they knew the players, they knew the state, they knew the area. The mega site lost a bid for a car manufacturing plant in 2018, but local and state officials so, didn't give up. You never knew. The client that walks away today may be the one that comes back um, next year or two or three years down the road. Toyota says the state's know. higher We're education system and transportation hubs were big selling points. The most important factor was the area's diverse workforce. The plant will make lithium ion batteries for 200,000 cars with plans to eventually make more than 1.2 million battery packs per year. Here we are on the on the cutting edge of automotive technology. We're going to build the power plant for future autom automobiles. It will create more than 1,700 jobs, paying an average of $62,000 a year. That's way above the state's average of $54,000. These are going to be highly trained uh, workers that are going to be needed, high skilled, it's going to, they're going to need a high skilled workforce. Um, and so we're going to need partnerships across the board with community colleges, with the four-year universities. Toyota plans to start hiring no later than 2024, with production starting by 2025. We will start seeing crews preparing the land at the beginning of the new year, and construction will start soon after.